I have got my drip feed which is suspended above me it's literally a milk bottle and then I will show you simple gang valve that you buy for fish tanks with a little pipe coming from there it goes into the trusty old milk bottle okay now hang that up just higher level and you can control the speed of the drip I use about that sort of rate and this as I've said many times before lubricates the area and um, so it, it helps cut much much better and preserves the diamonds as well I hope you can see The deeper you engrave, the further, the more protruding it appears to be. And I've just engraved my nail. don't know how well you can see that but it is quite deep and of course if I dry it it will come up nice and bright and see I've got over a little bit where that shadow was so later on I will add in shadow there again right as you can see i've had a little bit of fun and engraving a bit of a, of his claw um remember this is a cartoon you can really let your hair down and play i'll show you how i've got to that point with the next knuckle Starting with quite a big diamond head. The, the light on the wet engraving picks up everything I need to see very clearly all the ridges I've got my magnifier on so I can I'm looking pretty close I 
I've gone deep there but I've flicked up there so that my surface here is quite high meeting that. There's lots of little gaps but what I'm going to do now is go ever so lightly ever so lightly over the top. This is quite a fine burr. It's not very rough. Then I took, I dried it off first, and then I took this little rubber and just randomly went over. Oh, can you see that? This is a lovely black rubber, quite hard. And that running over the upper surfaces We'll just add a little bit of extra darkness. Of course, we can't reach into the bottom because the bottom is deep. This adds a little bit of 3D. Funny looking claw. <laughs> Maybe he's got calluses. Maybe it's a she. Hmm. And a bit of, oops, let's have a look. And a little bit of brightness with a rough diamond dry. As you can see, I've done a, a little bit more. Um, I don't film everything, otherwise it'll take forever. What I'm going to do now is um, finish the bottom two claws. But I'm going to try not to get my head in the way like I see I've been doing. Um, let's see. Big diamond. probably won't be able to see the edges of the claw but what I'm going to do I'm just filling in and shaping the larger area and I will do the end for the smaller bird to a smaller burr, in fact a tiny burr, a teeny tiny little diamond. I'm going to start at the tip and gently bring it back.
adding some highlights with a quite a rough diamond. I could do this dry as well. Because it's slightly rougher, when it's dry it will be slightly lighter. So let's have a look. I also made the thumb claw a little bit bigger. It was a bit puny compared to the other two, so I widened it a little bit. Now watch that dry into a magic white. Okay, oh, such fun. So now, if I turn it round, hmm, I wonder if you can, how deep those are. Now if I was doing someone's face or something quite serious, I don't do portraits, but I do my own made up faces. If I was doing that, I would do proper contouring, proper depth and layers. But something like this, it's a cartoon, I just gouge in there nice and deep and um, without filling the whole background deep first and then slowly building up the layers. It doesn't matter for something like this, you've still got all the all the texture is there. There's another trick you can do um, not something I normally do, but um, if you get hold of, this is a white tack, sticky stuff we used to call it in Africa. Um, I'm not keen on this because if there's any grease in it, it will stick in the engraving. But if you go like that, and let's pick a spot and press it. You can see the relief. <laughs> Look at that. Anyway, anyway. It's quite deep. <laughs> Such fun. Anyway, there you go. Right. One can always come back later on and fix up bits, but I'm going to start playing around next with this texture. The very last thing we'll do, of course, is the little fairy in the bubble. <laughs> 